Welcome back to Dishing It. Our patties are still working. Jeremy's gonna make the uh, additional two patties. Oh. I'm gonna get our um, base going, which is the bread, which we'll need to butter, put onto um, the griddle here. Do you wanna press those down really fast just to see? Oh, and then we might yeah. wanna flip them. Yeah, it said to hold it down, guys. There's the menu, right? I mean the menu. The uh, recipe right there on your screen. And it, now most people say don't, don't squeeze don't the burgers because the yeah. juice, but it said in the instructions to do that, so. Because they are pretty, like in the picture, they are pretty thin, so. Smoky. Yeah. Smell like burger meat all day. Oh, I smell like meat. Is that it? I smell like beef. Oh, beef, there we go. I smell like beef. I'm learning new. New things. <laughs> now okay. Charlie's talking to me. I tried to talk to him all through the commercial and he wouldn't talk to me. Now he's in my ear. Wait, where, where is the, okay, there we go. Okay, now I do have extra meat, Maddie. What should I do with it? Make more or no? Uh, I mean, if we've got the time. Okay, Make. I'm getting uh, votes from the peanut gallery. And that is a resounding yes, I believe. I would guess. I guess that's a yes, make more. I guess it's a yes. Now, I'm not gonna use the heel of the bread. I'm gonna get into the middle here. Okay, Miss Maddie, would you mind flipping those, please? Yep. And then we can add some salt and pepper. Oh, oh yeah. That's you that's scooch on stuff. over that way. Come here. There we go. Right. There we go. I'm gonna try to make some a little thinner and see what happens. More the merrier. Okay. I mean we've got we've got the, got the resources, so might as well. I feel like the steak and shake burgers are pretty thin, right? Yeah. Okay, there's that. I'm gonna go ahead and get these buttered. Um, I should probably turn this on. Should I do this on like a low? Yes, let's do, to get it hot though, we might need to put it on medium just okay. to get it in the ballpark. Right. I'm gonna flatten these out again. I'm trying to make the next ones kind of thin. I really thought it would shrink more, but it's really not. You guys, I just wanna say, I thought ahead and I laid out the butter while we were getting ready from five to seven, and it is spreadable now. I'm just really proud of myself for thinking that far ahead. It's the little things in life. Let me move these over, okay. I and I'm a crazy together. lady talking about buttering bread on live television. I'm sorry, I wasn't in listening, Maddie. What totally were you fine, nothing. I'm sorry, I'm making patties. Guys, I'm in the zone. I'm in the patty zone. Let's just call you SpongeBob. I'm just in making the zone. patties. I'm trying to make these patties. Okay, I've really stretched this. This is what you do when you're at home and you're on a tight budget. Um, you, you stretch it. You stretch what you can and you make as many patties as you can. That's what my mama used to do. Yeah. Make the food stretch. Right. So there's that. That's looking good. You want okay, me to press yes. down again? Press down again. I'm taking off these gloves now because... Yeah, it's not. Okay. Yeah. No, I, I agree. I just didn't see any red, but... Does it feel hot? I need to turn up just a hair to get it hot. Yeah. And then we'll turn it down. There we go. Oh, I see it. Yeah, there we go. Yeah, the other Oops, sorry. You know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna scoot these to the side and add some more burgers over right. here just to get it more cooking. Because I think these are about done. Yeah. Go after you. Maybe I should do these off the for a little bit. Okay. There we go. All right. So then the next step after we butter the bread is to obviously let it get cooking, but then we're gonna put um, a slice of Swiss cheese on just the one side. And then when a patty is ready, we'll put the patty on top of the Swiss cheese. Okay, we're gonna get that nice and hot. Yeah, you, you let me know when I'm Yeah, I'm gonna have to keep checking that just because it's uh... Oh, the smell's good though. I mean, I you can't go wrong with the smell. Uh, uh, uh. So how many pieces of cheese do we have? We just have um, one per cheese. Okay. One Swiss per... Remind me next time we have cheese okay. to double the cheese. Double the cheese. Double the cheese, always double the always cheese. Always double the cheese. I love cheese. So yeah, one piece per... Uh, yeah, so a, a cheddar and a Swiss. Cheddar and a Swiss. Swiss per sandwich. Okay. Cheddar and a Swiss. Cheddar and a Swiss. Do you mind if I taste the sauce? No, by all I'm means. Curious. Please do. Let, let me know if we can add anything. I'm gonna go ahead and get some other 
slices of bread and butter. I think it's delightful. Does it taste similar? Does it taste exactly like it? What I'll be honest, Maddie, as I was tasting it, I was going, I don't remember what it tastes like. Okay, well, there we go. I'll just be honest with you, I don't remember. Come on, toast. Goodness gracious. It has taken forever to toast. And I have it on high. I know. It's crazy. All right, well, we'll get it going. We'll get isn't, it. Isn't that the burner? Like, it either burns or, or it, it doesn't. Or it doesn't. It's okay. There we go. Let me squeeze that down. I'm pushing those down a little bit now. There we go. So, just curious. Yeah. Do you have an open kitchen floor plan where it kind of opens your room? Is it closed off with a door? Open. Open. Well, when That's I bought it, it was closed off. It was closed off. After the remodel, yeah. it's open. I was going to say, that is my dream kitchen, is an open kitchen. So then all this smell engulfs my house. I'll be dreaming about Frisco Mel. I just believe that these burgers are very done. OK. Do you, so, oh, let me check this now. OK, good. Toast good. is toasting. OK, that plus the patty. Plus the patty. Then we're going to go American cheese. Oh, gosh. There we go. OK. <laughs> then American cheese on top. OK. And then if and then, this other one, we can... When do we put the sauce on? Um, oh, well, I guess we would have to do that before we put it on top of the other yeah. one. I think, because this one's about done, right? Is so that all? stack of Cook's Burger on top of each piece of melted mm -hmm. Swiss, followed by a piece of American cheese and the second patty. Second yeah. patty. Oh, second patty. Second patty, there we go. Second Move everything patty. to a plate. Um, top burger stack with plain toasted bread. Lots of Frisco sauce. Okay, there this is where we go. Okay, I'm moving this over here to you. Boo. You Frisco sauce it, and I got your bread. Okay, and then we'll get these two on. Yeah, we can do that. Here, we got one more second. Let's do that first. Okay. Get it done. All right. There we go. There we go. Oh my gosh, that looks amazing. Guys, hey, don't forget. Oh! Right. Go up. <laughs> Meat's flying. Is hey, that guys. enough? Is that enough Frisco sauce? There we go. That doubts it. <laughs> All right, don't forget that right now at Price Cater, 80% lean ground beef is $3.99 a pound, and the top sirloin steak, eight ounces, are just $4 each. Check your Price Cutter local ad because these amazing deals right here on this beef is available and on sale this week. We'll be back.